everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Teresa and today I wanted to do my top favorite drugstore makeup under $10 <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that but yeah my channel is mainly about perfume it used to be actually a makeup channel those videos are mainly put on private only I can see them I do I think if you scroll down all the way to the back to the bottom I think you will find a few makeup videos makeup tutorials uh, I still love makeup um, this will not turn into a makeup channel or anything like that so if you are only here for the perfumes uh, please don't unsubscribe or anything like that it's just you know it's it's my passion and I do wanna I do wanna incorporate a little bit more like beauty makeup clothes sometimes so yeah today I just wanted to talk about my favorite drugstore makeup um, I've been wearing drugstore makeup. I'm sorry, I keep looking at my drugstore makeup here. Um, I've been using high end before. I've been using drugstore for years. And you know, to be completely honest with you, at the end of the day, I've been getting the same results with either or. You just have to find the right products. There are bad products in the in like Target, drugstore, whatever. And there are bad products in Sephora and Ulta. Um, when it comes to the ingredients, I think they're just as many bad ingredients in high-end products just like what is it Urban Decay or YSL, Charlotte Tilbury you know there are bad ingredients in pretty much anything nowadays so you know if you wanna if you think you can just get better ingredients in high-end products you know you can think that um, I disagree with that so I've been using drugstore for so so long because you know like I said at the end of the day I think the result is pretty much the same there's so many videos out there where people do $500 here and $100 here and you cannot tell a difference so I'm just gonna start my makeup looks pretty beat up um, but it shows that I use it and everything that I'm mentioning today is what's on my face I you know I, I love eyeshadow palettes and that's like that one thing that I think drugstore is not that great at that's pretty much it I have around I think 40 eyeshadow palettes that's def definitely like one of my addictions but we want to keep it under ten dollars so I do have a really really great eyeshadow palette for you guys so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with how I would apply my makeup so um, I don't always use a primer. I do love. I do have to say one thing. I do love the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. That primer is bomb. Uh, I know the Elf has one that is very similar to it. I have not tried it yet because I still have to know makeup once I run out. I will try the Elf one. Um, but I do like the Elf the Putty Primer. It's a uh, pretty good in my opinion. I don't know if the camera does not focus right now. As you can see, I have. It looks pretty gross. I've used it a lot. <laughs> I'm scraping to the bottom already. It's just very similar to the, I think, the Tatcha Luminous Silk. Is that what it's called? I could be completely wrong, but the Tatcha Primer. I feel like Elf has been duping a lot of uh, high-end products from Sephora, and I think this one is definitely great. I think it's eight dollars. And like I said, everything that I mentioned today today is under ten dollars. So once I do my primer, I obviously go in with foundation and I love, this one has a clearance sticker on it, but I love the Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus Foundation. And this one is actually the original. I do actually love the Dewy one a whole lot too. This one is really, really great. Really great. I think this is actually $4.99 or something like that. And then also like the L'Oreal, the True Match. Uh, foundation oh my god the light is so bright that the camera is not picking it up and I have a clearance sticker right here so it looks super super beat up but this one I have been using for almost 10 years at this point and the color selection on this one is really really good like you can find from the lightest skin tones to the very deep skin tones so everybody is included with that one anyway uh, the elf in this one I need to get a new one I've been scraping to get the last products out this one is the elf hydrating camo concealer and i have doesn't really matter what color i have right it's fair warm uh, as you can see i need to get a new one it's a really good concealer um i used to use the original one with the black cap and it's a little bit too drying so i do love this one and i think i went through three or four bottles at least already of this one and as you can see i need to get a new one really great concealer it's a dupe for the um what is it the tarte shape tape concealer in my opinion for sure 
um, but not as drying as the Tarte Shape Tape is. So this one is really, really, really good. So once I'm done with that, I go in with uh, setting my under eyes. So I've been using the CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. This is just a regular powder. And then I go in with these triangles right here. I didn't want to use my dirty ones. I have still a lot. It's these triangles you can get from Amazon. I hope they're still under $10. They could be right at the $9.99 mark. And these are a game changer. If you ever had like problems with your under eye looking just too powdery and crusty, try these. Just go in with your powder and then you pat like your under eye. Those are definitely, definitely a game changer. I will never go back to using a powder brush underneath my eyes because they will make your under eyes look so smooth. I mean, you can, you know, you can still see that there's powder and setting your makeup heavy with powder will definitely accentuate your wrinkles, um, which I'm in my 30s and I have them, so they will never go away. Um, but those are really, really good. Really, really highly, highly recommended. Then I go in with setting my face and then I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I went through I don't know how many of these and to completely, uh, to be completely honest with you, I'm trying to find products that don't have ugh, talk in it. Oh my god, and this has titanium dioxide in there. I probably will throw this in the trash. So, um, really great powder, but ingredients suck. Let's move on. <laughs> then I go in with um, bronzer. And this one is from Catrice. This one is the Holiday Skin Luminous Bronzer. Uh, it says Luminous Bronzer, but it does not have shimmer in it or anything. But it will not be like completely matte or dry looking, if I can open it. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a very um, light bronzer. If I'm self-tanned, which right now I'm not self-tanned, I cannot use it. It will not show up on my skin. So this is definitely, um, it's called summer in the city uh, i think they have a darker shade in this one uh but this one is definitely if you're very fair but who else makes good bronzers i think wet and wild they make good bronzers too and then i jump over to blush i have two blush options i have this ColourPop. ColourPop makes really great affordable products this one right here really pretty perfect peachy pink color and this one is uh, pretty new this one is from essence this is in the color bedazzling and i actually hauled this a couple weeks ago and i thought that the color would be looking muddy or too bronzy as a blush but actually this color looks really really great i love it and i have been using it a lot i don't know if the camera picks it up but I've used it a lot, like the writing is already completely gone. So this one is really, really great. So once I'm done with that, I'm going over to use highlighter. I don't use highlighter all the time anymore, but when I do, I use wet and wild highlighters. This is just was a limited edition, but this will last me probably for the rest of my life. It's like a loose highlighter. And I don't know if I can swatch it without dropping the whole thing. So let's just see. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Oh my god, you see this? Oh my god, is wet and wild highlighters are no joke. Those are better than any high-end highlighters that I have ever tried. They really know what they are doing, and I don't even want to look at the ingredients though. No, really bad ingredients <laughs> uh, okay so once i'm done with that i will go over to do my lips so i have an obsession with uh, colourpop lip liners really good um i love which one is this oh snap then i also love uh, the bff lip liner and i love the essence lip liners stay eight hours um what color is this you can find all of these at ulta just perfect and then also what a doll this one from catrice so so good like essence catrice colourpop they make one of the best lip liners in my opinion um and the catrice and the essence one they will last you all day all day and then we're moving over to lip products uh, the lipstick that i'm wearing in most of my videos if you ever wonder what kind of lipstick i wear i wear l'oreal fairest nude 800 and will the camera pick it up 800 and the proof is right here 
was that I've been using this lipstick a whole lot and I'm about to be out because I love it so much. This one is the perfect nude. Like it can't. Like this was a terrible swatch. <laughs> so yeah, you guys see it. <laughs> terrible swatch but this is the, the best nude that is out there. Then I have some glosses that are really great. Uh, no secret right here. The NYX butter glosses. So many different shades really great butter gl uh, glosses and they will smell like a cupcake and then also from milani uh the keep it full glosses this one is my favorite it's in the color champagne it's a little bit pink but it has a little bit of fine like shimmer in there but nothing like chunky glitter or anything you barely see it on the lips so this one is really good and then uh, this one is new, this one is the Maybelline the Vinyl Lips they're called and I have it in the color Peachy and you guys, you have to shake it and then you use it, these are really good. Um, when I first applied it I was like oh no, so, so sticky. So it is sticky and it will continuously be sticky so it will not fully dry, at least not on me, um, but they will last, they will definitely last through eating. Um, and I have nothing bad to say, but the only thing I have to say, I want to get it in more colors. So I think a really good color is cheeky. I want to get cheeky. Um, I'm not too big on colorful lips. Um, I just don't like put too much attention on my lips because I don't have big lips. <laughs> so I like nude lips and this one is really, really good. Um, so once I'm done with that, I do my eyeshadow and I have this on my eyes right now. It's very natural. This one is the e.l.f. Uh, what is it? The I Love You A Latte uh, Bite Size Eyeshadow and this is only $3.00 like super cheap and this is what the color looks like the perfect neutral colors you can just create a very natural but with this you can also create a smoky eye so this is really good and I have used this a lot and they blend really really good once I'm done with that I go in with brows well actually no I do my brows already and then I go in with eyeshadow. I love the e.l.f. Uh, what is it? The eyebrow pencil. This is instant lift brow pencil. It comes with the spoolie right here. Oh, I have it the wrong side actually. It comes with the spoolie and then the brow pencil. It's not too, it's a little bit thick but you can still get a really nice job done with this and I'm using the color blonde and you can get this for three dollars only. Once I'm done with that, I go in with setting spray and oh my god, I think this has been discontinued. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dewy Mist and I only have a little bit left. Uh, this one is just so, so, so good. So good. It will make your makeup look so beautiful and just not powdery, a little bit dewy and yeah, why would L'Oreal, why would you discontinue this? It's so good. And then my favorite primer is from L'Oreal. I also love the Lancome one, but we're talking about drugstore here. This one is the L'Oreal, what is it, Voluminous Primer. And I think it's around $6. I need to get a new one. Um, very plain looking brush, but it's really good. Um, eyebrow gel I will also do towards the end. This one is from got to be I've talked about this before. This one is like the gel that they sell just in the eyebrow version. You can also use it for your hair. So great. It will keep your eyebrows in place all day. And then mascaras. My favorite mascara. I've been using this for I think the last seven years is from Essence. This one is the False Lash Mascara. And I also like the, the Lash Princess from Essence. This will definitely give you a little bit of clumpy looking eyes, uh, lashes. And I also love the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. It will give you a lot of volume but not a lot of length. So definitely very volumizing. And this is what I'm wearing today. Um, so I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But it's a really, really good mascara. Uh, best, best mascara. It's under $5. So that was my favorite drugstore makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try if I can list uh, all the products below. 
Um, but as always, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I promise the next video will be a perfume video. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.